I am Michelle Fry. I teach fifth grade at 10th and Penn in Reading School District. And um, tell us about the makeup of the kids in your class. Um, we have 25 kids in the class. Um, probably three quarters of them, um, English is their second language. Uh, most of them, their homes, they speak Spanish. Um, also very high level for reading and math. Um, and that's about it. So because they're already high level, how is Bridges able to help them? It's able to allow them to be more creative with what they learn instead of just answering multiple choice questions. They're allowed to be creative in their thinking, in their writing, which usually in our curriculum we don't have time to do. So how do you think, do you think Neighborhood Bridges has benefited them? Yes, for sure. Even today we talked about personification, which is something they had learned initially through Bridges, and then I was just able to reinforce it through teaching. So that was just one example of many of how they're able to use bridges as background knowledge and just being able to express themselves and continue um, learning and thinking through things that they learn from bridges. Has neighborhood bridges helped the classroom dynamic in any way? Oh, yes. <laughs> Can you break that as a full sentence so that, because they're not going to have yes. to have um, <laughs> Some of the things that it's helped with is the dynamics of the groups. They don't get to pick what group they're in. They're placed in a group and they're never switched. So they have to learn how to deal with each other. They have to learn how to deal with all the different personalities that are in their group, which is one of the biggest things. And even um, some of the stories and the way that we present the stories and the questions um, also helps with some of their anger issues. Um, learning not to um, use violence to work things out, um, seeing one of our kids who's an emotional support kid being told his you know behavior has changed. Um, one of his old emotional support teachers had said, um, he said, you know what, let's just stop that. We don't need to do that. And she said she thought it was another kid because he had never gone that way before, that he had always resorted to hitting or, miss, I'm going to be suspended, and um, instead he was trying to work through it with the other kid. So just little things like that, and every day we see little things with the kids making progress. And how, how, why is it that you attribute that to Bridges versus just the fact that you're an excellent teacher, which you are? <laughs> it gives time for us to work through those issues. Um, of relationships and talking about, uh, you know, pretty much giving an hour and a half of time to work through um, issues through stories. So even though it's not their story, they're able to, um, I'm trying to think of the word, they're able to attribute some of the characteristics or characters in the stories to themselves. So it's easier for them to talk about um, some of the stories compared to some of the stories that we teach them. It's a lot of nonfiction. Um, a lot of true life stories where these stories are kind of made up so they're more able to share their feelings and what they think should happen because it's not really about them. Um, and a lot of times we don't have that kind of time in class. It's, our curriculum is very structured as to what we need to cover. Can you tell us about the very first day of Neighborhood Bridges? Um, I, I thought the first day went pretty well. The kids definitely were not used to the structure of it, especially not creative writing because we do not do any creative writing. Um, and so for that, for them to sit and make something up, really stretch them. A lot of them had two sentences where now they have full pages. Um, also just having to act things out, very shy. Um, so, and you know, we've seen huge growth with some of the kids being able to share in front. Um, I'm thinking of the time when it was down to the last two kids having to go, and they did not want to go. And one girl got up and was crying and holding me, like, don't make me talk in front of people. And she did it. We said, you can do it. You can do it. Everyone else had to do it. You have to do it, too. And um, she shared. Um, and then the next week, her hand was the first one to go up to share. So it was amazing. She was crying, and then the next week she got over her fear. And, you know, the same kid that I had talked about previously um, can't really even write, but with enough support of trying to give him enough phonics at least. Sometimes I'm next to him as he's writing and didn't want to share either, but kind of got up instead of reading what he wrote. He just, we said, okay, so then what happened? So then what happened? So he was able just from his own 
creation, be able to come up with this great story. And everybody was so impressed with his story that, you know, kind of changed his idea of himself, his confidence level, that he could create these things even though he couldn't necessarily write them all down. How about test scores? Is it doing anything with that? I think so. <laughs> I think especially for a lot of the figurative language, which we do not spend a lot of time doing things with, and even some of the games we play with the kids on sequence, um, it makes their learning more active than what they're normally used to. And I think that has helped making their learning active. One of the key components of Neighborhood Bridges is having a co-teacher in the classroom with you. Um, do you think that do you think this is something that you could do on your own? Like, no. And now that you have, well, I mean, now that you have the lesson plans, do you feel like it's something that you would use in the future, even if the program? Oh, yes, possible? I could definitely use it. It's definitely a lot more fun having somebody else here with me and kind of co-teaching and being able to deal with, you know, obviously having 1 to 25 is a lot harder than 2 to 25. Um, but yeah, I would definitely use a lot of, and I do use some of the things like the sequence thing. Um, I've been using that with my kids, having them first person has to say the first thing, the second person, and it's been great. Do you feel that the Yoakum Institute as a whole, like the, the administration part, as well as Jenny, of course, helped prepare you for Bridges? Oh, yes. Yeah, we had a one-on-one -on -one meeting. It doesn't get better than that. <laughs> and just your binder with all the stories and just the communication between her and I has been very helpful. It hasn't been stressful at all. Okay. Would you want it back? Oh, yes. Can you say I want it back? I want it back. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. Is there any other clip that you want her to say? Is that enough? No, I think it's good. Is there anything else you want to say? That if you, you could have tell 300 me. seconds to do it. Is there, if you had anyone, if, if you, you have a platform, so is there anything you want to say about the growth of the program or getting it? Just loving that the program is allowed to come into the schools and gives the kids another outlet to learn instead of the same old, same old. And just, you know, almost every week, like, Jenny and I are in tears <laughs> over some kid's story as to, you know, some great thing that they did or the stuff they're dealing with at home and they're able to share it in class. Um, it's been amazing to just see their growth and then having time to reflect on it um, has definitely helped them kind of get a different perspective on options of how to deal with things in their life. Has it so. your relationship with the students? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, we have a lot of fun too so <laughs> during bridges and definitely has helped my relationship with them and trying sometimes we want to do too much for them and bridges when they're in small groups we're not really encouraged to help them work out their problems so it's kind of good for them to to learn how to work out their own problems too so that's been a good teaching tool for me too thank you Excellent. thank you Mrs. Fry peace <laughs>